Now, there's also a cool subset of the Freedom Crafts alkylations. And I say cool because honestly, I think it's pretty awesome you can do it. So, Freedom Crafts alkylation basically says that if you can create a carbocation and you have AlCl3 present in benzene, you can do the carbon carbon coupling. So, all we have to do is generate a carbon carbocation. Now, hopefully, from Chem Orgo 1, you remember that if we have any type of alkene, We can add across that double bond with something like H plus or Cl or H plus and OH and water or something like that and go through a carbocation intermediate before we attach whatever our nucleophile is. So we can have HCl, water with acid, sulfuric acid for sulfonation, anything like that. So if you go back through and you thumb through your alkene reactions. Any reagent that's going to give you a carbocation intermediate will work also for Friedel Krauss alkylation. Al al so, what does this mean? If we have benzene, the presence of an alkene, and we do this in AlCl3, and we add, generally speaking, H, something that will protonate the alkene to give us the carbocation, we're going to get. attachment of the alkene to the benzene, but this is going to be through addition to the alkene bond. So basically it would be like having H plus and benzene acting like the nucleophile. Now what are the limitations on this? Well you have to be able to generate a carbocation and this is going to limit you. We can't take something like benzene and add benzene and say well if I add H plus and AlCl3, I'll get dibenzene. That's not how this works. So the alkenes we're adding cannot be aromatic alkenes. Generally speaking, we're only going to stick to alkenes in their purest sense. It's just a monoalkene. There's only one double bond. The other thing we want to keep in mind, and this is something that you saw when you did Orgo 1, is that when we do this carbocation formation, we can get subsequent rearrangement. So again, we're still bound by the rules we had before for Friedel Krauss alkylation. We want to be working with something that's going to form a secondary or tertiary carbocation. But here, this is an additional option for you. If you have an alkene and you can put it under acidic conditions with AlCl3, in principle for a lot of them you could actually do this direct carbon coupling reaction. You don't actually need to be working with the alkyl halide.